right, I'm gonna do a little rimfire gel test video here. I got 10% ballistic gel on the Nox right here on the left. Clear ballistics gel on the right, both 10%. Uh, these are from earlier tests from last week, so make sure you go check that out. I'll link that in the description. 17 HMR Hornady VMAX versus 22 WMR Hornady VMAX. So today we're gonna do the game points by CCI. As I said, I've got both blocks here, Nox 10%. And uh, clear ballistics 10%. We'll put uh, some rounds in each and then we'll check them out, measure the penetration and whatnot, and dig them out and see what they look like. Rifles I'm using today is a Savage 93R17 and a Rossi RS22M. I'll put a link in the description to the review videos on those as well if you want to see the review on those guns. And uh, feel free to check out the 22 playlist on the channel uh, for way more videos with those guns and anything rimfire. So the 17 HMR game point is a 20 grain soft point rated at 2375 feet per second. And this is a soft point as well for the 22 Magnum 40 grain advertised 1875 feet per second. I don't know if it has any, nope, not seeing it like I did on these. These had some different uh, velocity readings at different ranges, but these do not. Let me get these pulled out here and get a close up for you. All right, obviously 17 HMR on the left, 22 Magnum on the right. You can see the little lead soft points right there. So obviously we're doing this close range today, um, but uh, here coming up somewhat shortly, I fully intend to do uh, these tests again at 50 yards, 100 yards, and potentially further, but no promises on further than 100 yards. So stay tuned for that as well. All right, quick note on this gel. First of all, if you're wondering what this is, uh, the very edges are starting to freeze because it's 20 degrees outside. This is calibrated right at three inches. Um, I've been, this is the third meltdown of these blocks. The past two videos I did, I was testing 22 punch. Very first time we came in at 3.7 inches, which is the very uh, end spectrum of allowable penetration to still be within spec for 10%. And, uh, what was interesting was I was getting pretty average uh, 15 inches of penetration with the Federal 22 punch coming in at 3.7 inches calibration, which is still within spec. Uh, specs right around 3 inches to 3.75 inches is the allowable tolerance. Uh, the following block we did punch again, comparing it to some other ammo. That'll be in the 22 playlist. Um, but it, we got calibration right at 3 inches like we are here today. And the punch that time only went about 12 and a half inches. So even though technically both blocks were within spec, um, there was a pretty vast difference in penetration between coming in at 3.7 inches uh, in spec and 3 inches in spec. So I just wanted to make that known uh, because it did, at least with the punch, make a, a pretty considerable difference. So this is on the very end of the spectrum at 3 inches here. Uh, allowable tolerance, which means this is thicker than 3.7 inches um, and when you melt them down you got to add water because more water evaporates every time you melt them down um, so I'm working on that too I just haven't found the magic number yet uh, so like I said it's in spec but it's on the lower end of the spectrum so it's a little on the thick side but that's okay actually because the clear blocks that we're gonna shoot here today too calibrated those even though they're straight from the factory and I haven't even melted them down yet those came in right at three inches also so it's a pretty even comparison, uh, but I'm going to try to work on getting in spec between the two extremes and try to come somewhere in the middle uh, from here on out, but I'm still working on that. But hey, I'm going to shut up, quit yapping here, and get these things shot before we get more than just the edges frozen, which is still flexible, as you can see. It's just, as these get colder in the core, they'll become basically even thicker. Uh, so I'm gonna, we need to hurry up and shoot these. All right, so I'll do the same for both blocks. We'll do 17 HMR on the right, 22 Magnum on the left. Uh, we'll hit these, we'll get a measurement, then we'll switch to the clear block, do the same, and then we'll pluck them out and see what they look like.
All right, we gotta hurry up and check these out before this thing frosts over on me. If I have to, I'll throw it in the truck and warm it up so we can see better, but looks like we can still see pretty good. So again, on the right, we had 17 HMR game point, and on the left here is the 22 Magnum game point. There's what entry looks like there. Let me get a measurement on the maximum width here for you from the entrance. Okay, so uh, we got about two inches max to max on both of these. All right, then as far as penetration is concerned, 17 HMR there is coming right at about eight or a hair shy. And the Magnum, about 11 and a half there. All right, let me get this clear block set up. We'll hit it with both and then we'll take the bullets out and see what they look like. There you go, I flipped it over for you there so you can see a little better. This bottom side isn't frosting up on us yet. So there's a, a much better view of what it looks like there. That channel from that 22 Magnum there is pretty impressive because look how long that is where it's being disruptive and just tearing flesh basically. It's pretty impressive from that. The 17 HMR didn't do bad either. The uh, the ballistic tip ones that it tested in the last video, um, they were a little more explosive up here and then not so much back here. These seem to carry more energy and damage longer through. Those are pretty nice channels right there. Be interested to see what these do at uh, 50 and 100 yards because unfortunately it's not going to carry that much energy that far. So we'll definitely, as I said, be testing both the ballistic tips and these at longer ranges at a later date and see what they do out there further where we're actually shooting critters at. All right, so now as you can see, we got the clear block here. Got some nine millimeters down here. Some other <coughs> 17 HMR up there, 22 Magnum. Uh, so I'm gonna try to just basically come in right around here with these so we can get a clear view of them. All right, so interesting result here. I'll tell you, it's been my experience with the clear ballistics. Uh, not only do you more often not get expansion through them, whereas in the Knox I do uh, from hollow points, um, but also the wound cavities, the, the permanent wound channels are usually smaller in this clear ballistics gel. And you'll see that here in a second. Um, but with that being said, with the 22 Magnum, we got a complete pass through, which means did not expand. It came out the back right there. So, if my uh, camera doesn't die here because it's freezing weather, it's killing the battery, I'll try to put a couple more in there, see if we get any to expand. And then the 17 HMR right here, there's that. So, you can see the wound cavity through this clear ballistics gel much smaller okay so that's why I like using both because some people love this and swear by this and that's fine I really like it too because it's clear and it's you know and then other people swear by the Knox and as you can see even though they're both 10% even though they both have three inch BB calibration because I shot a BB into this one just to check it just for fun and we came in right at three inches there. So even though they're literally the exact same calibration, you can see a vast difference. So that's something I wanna keep doing if I can. Use both the clear ballistics gel and the Knox ballistics gel. So for those of you that wanna see it through the clear, there you go. Those of you who wanna see it through the Knox, there you go. But also it shows that there's, there's a pretty big difference between the two. So which one's more accurate to actual flesh? I don't know, you be the judge of that. But I'm going to keep doing both uh, to the best of my ability. This stuff is extremely expensive. Um, so I'm hoping that I can get some sort of sponsorship or discount or something like that through uh, Clear Ballistics, which I'm trying. All right. I had to switch to the GoPro here. Phone died. This freezing weather is hell on my phone battery. So uh, it, it died. <laughs> I no more than mentioned that I hoped it wasn't going to die and it died on us. So we switched to the GoPro here. So sound might be a little funny, picture might be a little funny. So there's a 17 HMR bullet right there. Actually looks like we got a real nice mushroom out of that. Penetration, 
right about nine and three quarters. Um, so like I said, since this one passed through, um, I'll shoot a few more in here, a couple more, see if we can get any, any of them to expand in this clear ballistics gel. If not, we're done. All right, I don't know the results yet. We have entry here, here, and here. So let's see. That one stopped. Again, these are 16 inches blocks. So that one did stop. And you can see uh, clear back here. See how this one, the previous that just went right through, just a little zip line through there compared to all the destruction here you can see on that one. That's because that one didn't expand. The reason this one stopped is because it expanded. And well, you can see that it's expanded and you can see the much larger track. But this little tiny zip line from the other one, dead giveaway that it did not expand when you compare side by side like that. So then our next one, dead center here. This one has a nice cavity right there. So it did expand and it looked like, it, you see how much bigger it is here than that? That or it tumbled one of the two because uh, a lot of times when they tumble they make a bigger wound cavity than they do from uh, perfect expansion um, and that's what it did it tumbled because it exited the block see right there's the track it came out right there is where it came out you can see the cavity there and it just zipped right out the back so that huge cavity is solely from the bullet tumbling no expansion this one expanded and that's the cavity you got uh, the permanent wound cavity clear to here where it stopped this one much more massive cavity but zip right through so that massive cavity is exactly what I was talking about and that, I'm glad that happened actually to show you that's from tumbling did much more damage because it tumbled um, but it still penetrated further because there was no expansion. There was no energy dump. It just whoop tumbled and then shot out the back So then the last one here Right there There's our track looks like we might have got expansion and We did and it's right there Just a little bit short of that one. So these are 16 inch blocks. So that one looks like it's right at about 15 and then this one's sitting here just a little more short so 14 14 and a half something like that so uh that was a four total that we shot at the 22 magnum so we got a 50 50 ratio there of not expanding and shooting up the back of the block and expanding and stopping at 14 or 15 inches so again um that's been my experience a lot of times the bullets will not expand in this stuff but they do in the knocks and when they do expand in this a lot of times they expand less than they do in the knocks and sometimes it throws me for a loop and it's the complete opposite <laughs> so uh like i said you can decide which one's better which one's more realistic but i'm going to keep trying to do both of them for you guys so let me warm up my hands here like i said it's 20 degrees out here i'm freezing um, I'm going to warm up my hands real quick. We'll get these out of both blocks and examine them. All right, got them all out. There's some revelations here. First of all, more warning, GoPro doesn't focus the greatest up close. Apologize for that. Again, camera died. So, these two that stayed in this block, in fact, did not expand. You can see the bullets there, but remember they have a copper jacket. So what they did was they actually shed the jacket. So this one here that went 14, whatever I said, you can see pieces of the jacket where it separated and it stopped. And then this one here that went about 15, the one that stopped over here, uh, the jacket stuck with it. It was in the same spot, but you can see it's, it was pretty mangled. And so that, that jacket was definitely dragging in there some. So these did not expand. We knew the ones that exited the block didn't expand, but these didn't expand either. But apparently this one's jacket got messed up enough 
that it created enough drag that it stopped and then this one in the process of shedding its jacket and possibly even tumbling who knows um, that created enough disruption to where it stopped this right here 17 HMR nice mushroom and then out of our Knox gel this one here 22 Magnum that's the 17 HMR Oh, they're trying to slide off on me. That's the bottom. And there's your tops. So I know what you're thinking. Given the results off of this, even though I've tried to explain that results are always different in this than in this, you're thinking, what if that one was just a fluke through the Nox gel? What if he shoots a few more and they'll just pass right through also? Well, let's take two more shots in it and find out. Although I can say... I'm going to put my money on that they're still going to expand. Alright, I took a third shot because my first one actually skimmed the top here and did not stay in the block because of that. So then, shot here, shot here. And there they are. So, came through, exit, exit, entry, entry. There you go, there you go. These are, it's interesting, these did penetrate a little further. We'll take them out and see what they look like. Because the other one stayed just in the very back of the block, the initial one. Um, this is 11 inches from here to here. Or 12 inches from here to here depending on which way they're flipped because the edges taper so we came in 11 12 on the first one so i don't remember if i ever measured yep i'm pretty sure i measured it for you guys so we got a few extra inches here which is interesting so maybe these ones didn't expand as much um but with that being said <laughs> again the ice these blocks they're getting a little they're getting a little stiffer they've been out here for a while so that could have something to do with it too uh they're, they're getting a little more firm about 13 and a half. All right. This is the one that was on top here. Again, sorry, the GoPro doesn't uh, really focus up close. So there's a piece of jacket that was sitting right here with it. And if you look closely enough, there's also a piece of jacket right there. And that is the same uh, one. So there's a piece that stayed with it right next to it. There's a piece right there that it shed. This one was down there by itself. I flipped it over and picked it out. Uh, no jacket in this block, so this one shed its jacket somewhere in this one, and that's the remnants of that one. So if you had any doubt that the first one expanding perfectly in the Knox gel, whether it was a fluke or not, there you go. Not a fluke. So like I said in the beginning, there's a difference between these gel blocks. I um, can't say which one's better than the other. I'll leave that up to you. Some people like the clear ones. Some people like the Knox. So, um, as I said, I'm going to do my best to continue to use both in my gel test videos to the best of my ability. Clear ones are really expensive, so on and so forth. But I haven't seen any other channel that uses both, so hopefully that'll give you guys something here that you don't get anywhere else. That's good and doer. I appreciate you guys watching, as always. Um, as I said, last week we did these. Check it out. It'll be linked in the description. Or you can check out the 22 playlist for everything Rimfire. Uh, link in the description or in the 22 playlist for the review videos of these rifles if you want to see that um, Like I said, I'll have 50 100 yards coming up eventually I'm gonna switch over to center fire here soon. Uh, we've already done center fire gel tests in the past But I've been doing a bunch of rim fire lately, so I'm gonna switch back over to center fire um, But yeah, thanks for watching check out the links or the playlist for the others and I'll catch you guys on the next one